Remember Face Dubs, aka Daniel Walsh? Well, he. Well, as as you should know, over a month ago, he said the N word. And, uh. Alright, who are you okay. kidding like that, bro? Nigger. Yo, I'm streaming! I'm streaming! I'm streaming! I'm streaming! I'm streaming, dubs. I'm being good ass. On God, I'm streaming. Alright, we're okay. Like that, bro. Nigger. Yo, I'm streaming. I'm streaming. I'm streaming. I'm, sh I'm streaming, dubs. I'm being good ass. On God, I'm streaming. You know, most of his, most of his fans were kind of mad. Some of them not so much because they're too dumb and they don't know the meaning of the word. I made a video about this over the last five, six, or seven weeks ago on Face Dubs as to why he said the N-word and why he shouldn't be saying it. And I also gave a history lesson about the, the N-word that is shown on the screen right now. And today, I thought I might give you an update on on his return. All right, so I'm on Twitter now, and uh, yeah, I'm going to read the apology statement from Daniel Walsh, aka Face Dubs. on what he learned from the history of the N-word and why other people shouldn't say it because knowing him he would never do anything to jeopardize his career just until now he tweeted a note to my fans and the community so let's take a look at this shall we First, I go to, uh, I'm going to go to the Certo, of course, because there, it says on the title, Fortnite Pro Dubs Issues Apology Following Phase Suspension. And for, for what you should remember what happened over a month ago, well, here is that story. Of what Daniel Walsh said in re in response to the racial slur that he used. Fort professional Fortnite player and face number Daniel Dobbs Walsh has issued a lengthy apology to social media after uttering a racial slur on Naru Gamer's Twitch stream on February 29th. The offending quip w quickly went viral online, prompting phase to identity indefinitely suspend their player and require all members to undergo sensitivity training as told in their statement shortly after the incident took the net by storm. Over a month later, the 15 year old has returned to social media, issuing an apology and updating onlookers as to the results of his sensitivity training. Then, of course, Space Clan tweeted out over a month ago after Dubs made his apology, last apology over a month ago, which says a statement from Face Clan regarding dubs and it says face clan will not tolerate any form of hate speech which is why they which is why due to this actions they have suspended dubs indefinitely for representing face clan while in professional competition streaming or posting on a social accounts and they then said that they required dubs to go through 
sensitivity training and proactively requiring all face numbers to go through sensitivity training too. So, this is, isn't the first time Dubs has addressed the matter either. Dubs' recent apology echoes the treat he published directly after the incident went viral, with the pro seemingly writing, I can't even describe how sorry I am. I did not intend to be helpful in any way. But what I said was still hurtful, insensitive, and wrong. While FaZe themselves have yet to directly comment on the latest development, they did retreat Dobbs' April 2nd apology statement, which has since garnered over 6,000 likes at the time of writing, shortly after being published. Considering the content of his Apology, it seems that Dubs will return to competitive Fortnite under new mindset due to sensitivity training mandated by FaZe, although further information regarding his career has yet to be revealed. Alright, so now I'm going to go to the tweet that Dubs made over a day ago, and I'm going to read it from there. So, his tweet, his apology tweet says, I would like to convey how deeply sorry I am to everyone that I hurt through the unjustifiable language that I recently used. There are no words to describe the extent of how truly sorry I am. I want you all to know that I have taken time to think about how impactful my words and actions are and that they are all a reflection of myself. I would like to share with you all what I have spent my time doing to learn and grow from this. I completed sensitivity training to learn more about the history and original use of some of the most commonly misused offensive words. I've heard discuss this, these topics and what I've learned with my cultural sensitivity coach. The biggest lessons I learned was about the history of how these words were originally used and how they changed into derogatory words over time. These words have entirely new meaning in my mind, and I am appalled that I once used them so carelessly. I have not been competing in order to fully take a step back and understand why I play Fortnite and where my passion for the game lies. In the beginning, I only played because I loved the game. Over the last two years, I experienced a surge of support from all of you, and my reasons for playing have now shifted. I play for everyone who supports me and encourages me. I now realize that if I did not take the time to take the time off to bear myself for all of you, I would no longer have a reason to play the game I am so passionate about. As fans and friends, you all mean more to me than you know. I am determined to take a stand against the use of these hurtful words and to forever live by the motto, think before you speak, taking action through the use of the, this motto is necessary for me and any of us who want to become better versions of ourselves. I challenge each of you to implement this in your life in some way, whether it is taking the auditory words out of your vocabulary or standing up to stop bullying. 
please remember, no words are hurtful. Some people in this community use words to put people down. But I think we should all take a stand to build each other up. The sports community is powerful. And if we all take some time to reflect on how we can be advocates in this way, we have the ability to change the world. Let's be conscious of the things we say. Let's be nice to one another. And let's change the culture of each sport together. Thank you for my family at FACE for supporting me to become a very version of myself and investing time and energy to teach me the most valuable lessons. And most importantly, thank you to all my fam friends and all of you fans out there for holding me accountable for my actions. You all deserve better and I promise to give that to you. Apart from what happened nearly five weeks ago today, no doubt that Daniel Walsh has now understand why the N-word is kind of bad. And thankfully, thankfully, he, he wanted to spread the message on on the on the word that he now knows why he shouldn't say it and that's why i made last month's video which is now nearly over a month and three days i think it's yeah it's been a month and three days since i made that video and I gave an example of the N-word. And so, I don't have to go through it again because I already did in my last video, which you can check it out. Be sure to go to this number on the last video to learn more about the N-word from there. But, you know, just know that it's always okay to say other words, but it's never okay to say racist, auditory words that have some hard times of this history. And we all need to be mindful of what we say. And I think the fact that Dubs had to go to sensitivity training, he now has a different perspective on what to, on what to say and what not to say, which is the word N-I-G-G-E-R. So, yeah. I just wanted to end this video off there by saying if you're one of those little kids who think it's okay to say the n-word, uh, it's really not okay to say the racial slur of the n-word. Maybe it's okay for you to say the n-word with the soft A, which is which is N-I-G-G-A, which is a slang of use of the N-word, but it's not okay to say the racial use of the N-word, N-I-G-G-E-R. So, that's where I like to end this video right there, right now.